Okay guys, so because uh, we have this goal for uh, some longer time, I just wanted to make a quick video about the interior at night because it honestly looks stunning with all the nice lighting in this car. Uh, so let's start the car. So this is how the Golf looks at night. So you have really, really nice uh, lighting up here. And if you touch it, the light comes on and also goes off. This is the, uh, the well-lit steering wheel as well. So in here you have the, the virtual cockpit and you have the button on the steering wheel, the view button. And if you press it, uh, you get different kind of views in the uh, virtual display. And it all really looks very good. So this Golf actually has a quite a new interior. So all of these buttons uh, normally were normal buttons, but this is all, yeah, it, it's it's kind of touch sensitive button. So if I just press it slightly, really strange to be honest, but it does work. I think I think it takes some getting used to. And this is the MIB system, so the navigation system of this uh, 2021 Golf 8. And in here you have the comfort lighting. I mean, this is all in Dutch right now. Uh, so you have the interior. Uh, you can adjust some things in the interior, such as the heads-up display, the inside lighting. So you can adjust the brightness of the lighting. That's nice. So the design, you can adjust the design. You have a dark theme or a not dark theme. Status of the car. So you have a start stop system. You have your tire pressure monitoring uh, system as well. Uh, service system, so that is also nice. So your trip distance and stuff. Uh, so this is from start a long time and since the last time you filled up the car. And actually this car is pretty economical. You have uh, 710 kilometers of range uh, with like 50, uh, 50 liters of fuel and in here you also have the uh, the comfort settings as well so your AC uh, heated chairs and then you, the menu pops it pops up well I have to say this really takes some getting used to I'm normally I'm just uh, used to getting uh, those things with like normal buttons this is all all in in the touch screen it does look very nice though. And actually, these are buttons as well, but you cannot see what they are. I think that's that's really not, not nice about this car. So if we go to the central menu, you have your phone, uh, the radio, media, navigation, uh, car settings, app connect, users, and a shop, I think, oh yeah. This is actually for if you have bought the car without any systems in it, you can buy additional systems. Uh, yeah, it's just like an app store. So these are the uh, the first eight systems. Uh, these are the driving eight systems. So you have your uh, blind spot monitoring, you have your, um, yeah, front collision warning system as well. I think you can use those. Ah, so it actually has like uh, a, a cruise control based on the distance of the people in front of you. 
so the the car in front of you and it, it just keeps uh, the distance uh, equal lane assist of course uh, front assist well that actually was a system that that really re it's really really reactive and this is the blind spot yeah they call it side assist so this is your blind spot monitoring system as well um, and a system that knows when you are fatigued and you need to rest that's also in there radio media oh really we have some Christmas songs as well so actually the like to get the volume up you either use the uh, buttons on the steering wheel or you use the slider here and I really do not like this. This is just stupid. This is this is okay, but in my Audi, uh, you have like a, a wheel, which is much more practical than than either a button or a, a touch sensitive slider. So I do not really like that, but it I have to say it does look pretty cool, but it's not practical. So yeah. Yeah, and this is, I think this is the, the screen that you will use the most. So this is the uh, screen that lets you see a part of the uh, navigation system and some other features that you're probably gonna use. Um, and the, the cool part of this system is that it, it's like, yeah, it's, it's like using a cell phone. So you can just scroll down from the top and they have all sorts of options to choose from. So you can choose the, the brightness of the screen. Uh, you can adjust all kinds of things. You can uh, connect your Golf 8 to the, uh, the internet system as well, your Wi-Fi system. Yeah, it's really, really a connected car. So guys, that was just a quick overview of the uh, the Golf Mark 8. What do I think of this car? It's a beautiful looking interior. Uh, they really, really stepped up their game with this interior. But I think they went too far in some parts, like the touch sensitive buttons. I do not really like those. Maybe some getting used to, but for me, uh, I'd rather have the old button structure. Um, the media system is very good and I would definitely recommend uh, testing out this car the system uh, if you're trying to if, if you're thinking about getting a Golf 8 um, because it is a lot different than your Golf 7 or 7.5 and yeah don't underestimate the changes that you will find in the system so guys that was it for today thanks for watching and of course if you would like to see more of this car uh, we already made plenty of videos about it so i will link it in the description and i think here a lot more videos and here and here and here and here and please consider subscribing if you like the the, the channel and this video and see you guys next time okay ciao Mm-hmm.